Hey, sneaking it's been tonight. Tonight we've got another pup, but it's not grey pup, no, it's not grey at all, is it? Tonight we've got slack pup. Yes, it's a puppy based on woof and using the slackware package manager. So I'm going to show you what it is. Look, there we are. It uses the official 13.1 slackware repositories. Really, really super. Now bear in mind it's only a beta. I actually call it an alpha personally, but they call it a beta. Because some stuff don't actually work very well when you try to install it. Now I've got a full install here. And some stuff worked and some stuff didn't. But okay, I've got a Firefox from the Slackware and this is what comes up. But it's okay. It works fine. It just doesn't save stuff at the moment. So pipe it in, off we go, look, there we are. Current BBC paid, super bleeding duper. Looks really, really nice. And it's in a pup, lovely. It's 3.6.3 .3 as well. So we're all current up to the bum, so they say. So yeah, super duper. I'm going to go to the iPlayer, just to see if Flash is installed. Because it will be, won't it? But I just want to come over anyway, just have a laugh. So we'll have a look. I'm going to go to TV channels. If you're not familiar with the BBC in other parts of the world, we get this. It's pretty cool. It's all right. It's lovely. But I've gone to BBC Three, and I'm just going to click on this program called Mongrels. Now, if you like adult puppet humour, this is a Fantasy Doby program. So if you're out there and stick somewhere, see if you can get to watch it. It's lovely. By the way, if there's a character, I'd be Vince, the other fox, or Mary and the cat. And you'll see why if you watch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, Firefox works really brilliantly. Super. This is only a beta. It's only in testing stage like all the others, by the way. Even Lucid is still in development. That's Puppy Lucid to you. I don't know what I'm saying to you. Anyway, the other thing I've got to work in this one is Pigeon. I had so many troubles trying to get Pigeon to work in Lucid at Puppy. So I gave up. And, but in this one, straight away comes up. No bleeding problem. Well, well, good. Just to make sure the line up comes up. That's what you want to do. If you used Pigeon before, you know what you're looking at. So, yeah, it works. Super. I was really pleased about that. Now, this is a beta. I'm going to say again, it's a beta, it's a beta, it's a beta. But it works. Super. I really like it. It's really nice. And it's a lot quicker than Lucid. But saying that, I installed loads of stuff on Lucid. So that could be just me, and I only gave it a, a tiny hard drive. Uh, so that's me. So, printer Slack Pup C Monkey, look, even that there, lovely. So it is Slack Pup, the official. But it's in beta again. So it's beta, beta, beta. But we're going to go to the Slack Pup page. So I'm just putting Slack Pup into Google, and there we go, there's loads of stuff there. There's lots of bug stuff going around at the moment, you know, this iron app bits and bobs, so I'm going to show you this, then give it a while, then show you it again. But if you really want to try it, just go and download the ISO. It's about 123 megabytes, it works fine, connects to the internet just fine, just from the live CDs, that'd be super duper really, wouldn't it? But oh yeah, I'm really impressed, because I've been doing quite a lot of Slackware stuff on my channel on YouTube at the moment anyway. If you click connect, we're already connected, but I'm using a simple network setup. By Barry, it's really good. That's what it says on the tin. It just works, which is what you want. Also, Exorg works really, really good too. So anyway, end of the day, Slackpup is looking really, really good. And when it's released, be super sneaky links out.